Or what's in here? What? Like, is this like Oh, gold? bro. No, these are, these are all Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more things in here. Oh. A man found an abandoned Pokemon store, and today, we're gonna go check it out. Serious about this, what? Yeah, he and his sister went ahead and uh, did the artwork and everything themselves. Yeah. And we got the office here. All right. Oh, yeah, it was a little storefront, wasn't it? Is this packs they went to? Oh, wait, are these packs? What? Hold on. These are all unopened packs. Really? Yes. Okay, here's some more packs. Oh, you think there's packs in here? Hey, there's more packs in here. Look. There's so many packs. Look, oh my gosh. Look at all these packs. Oh, look at all these little sealed cars. Oh, look, these are Toys R Us. Oh, that's cool. All right, so this looks like maybe a little bit older cards, huh? Look, there's some Japanese stuff in here. I'm just going to peek, all right? I'm going to peek. Looking for some first editions, you know. Did he go through be holograms? Should we just thumb through? Because that's all you... Oh, look. So he's got them divided out a little bit. Here's some... Oh, look, this is a mixed bag in here. You know this? So, all right guys so i contacted this man right here because i mean one year neighbor this is all the stuff that i wanted in the storage unit for the three books the two boxes we got some binders here i i walked in here and i was just like my gosh this is a lot of cards. I think oh. I know which ones you would go for. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you want to? I mean, I don't. Do you want to like maybe try to see? If I, I'm a rookie, but I think that might be one of the. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this. Uh, I was shocked when I looked that up online. An Evolutions pre-release box. Is there one special card that's in there that people were looking for? Oh, absolutely. The uh, Charizard pre-release holographic card. What's it look? It's it's it, it's like it, that. It, it's a reprint of. The base set Charizard card. Obviously, uh, the, the stats are different on it. Uh, there's two of these out of these four. Yeah, so like this Primal Clash. Uh, I, I don't know the exact year it came out, but it was definitely a while back. And especially with it being one of the X and Y series sets. So, Primal Clash, Primal Clash is definitely, uh, obviously, they don't print these anymore because it's from, from, from back then. So, these are definitely. Uh, more valuable than these. Th okay, so this is the better value. One. Yeah, this is absolutely okay. because this was probably in like the mid, like around 2015 ish, probably. And this was just from like the past like year or two. Oh, I'm curious. What's this binder right here? I know we have more over there, which we're going to go through, but just what's. Take a look. It's, it's a bunch of Japanese stuff. 
Oh, but this is so cool. It's because like the binder itself is one of the older ones. Oh, we got some base set two cards on the inside. What else do we got? Yes, yeah, so we got some non-holographic rares from base set two. Really cool. It looks like we also got some, yeah, those are the Japanese cards. Looks like it's from Fossil Set, which is really, really cool. Got some Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge. That's a very nice one right there. That's the Band Misty's Tears cards. So that's a really cool one. Look, like there's another binder over here as well. Oh, that is uh, Missing No. I had a confession, you know, I did open a few boxes. Which boxes? I opened uh, one of these. Oh yeah, Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. Uh, yeah. uh, I know these are just like typical Pokeballs, but this could be really special because some of the Pokeballs, uh, they have different versions of the Pokeballs, meaning there's different packs on the inside. I did open about, I'm not gonna lie, I opened about a hundred random packs. When you have this many packs <laughs> like laying like this, you really, it's like hard to resist. Well, I was, so. so I noticed that most of this stuff obviously was newer, you know. Well, um, well, you, you do have, like when I was taking a look at this right now, obviously you have Shining Fates, which is in the Darkness Ablaze uh, collector's chest. It's not too crazy old. However, I was specifically looking at these ones down here. Okay. Those are the ones, I know if we can take off actually, the Mimikyu Sidekick Collection box. Uh, it, okay. It's a fairly older box, but it has Burning Shadows pack on the inside and XY Breakpoint, which is a, these are just older packs. So this is a really cool box and then, this also Pikachu Sidekick Collection, which looks like it has about the same packs on the inside. Uh, Burning Shadows, Breakpoint, but it also just has these in it. So. What else we got? All right, let's see here. So, I mean, those are really cool. The pink collection boxes for Tapu Koko. Those are certainly not uh, new. Okay. Uh, and especially the uh, that box right there as well, the same Tapu Koko. Those are just the pink collection box. So okay. those are a bit older. That's really cool to see those. Champion's Path is relatively new. Uh, looks like we have, is this? Yeah, this is a Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box. Uh, obviously, that's from 2016. So that's really cool to see. That's a bit more rare because they don't print those anymore. Um, this is all some relatively new stuff. Those are cool, the Pikachu and Zekrom because it has the golden cards on the inside. Uh, those are still relatively new, but those are very difficult to come by still. So oh. those yellow boxes right there are pretty nifty boxes to have. Uh, I'm going to put these back right over here. And then, of course, you have, before we get over there, uh, all of these blister packs. Like, I see Vivid Voltage. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you can technically find Vivid Voltage still in stores if you get lucky, but uh, it's a great set because obviously the Rainbow Pikachu is the most sought after card from that set. And it took these three pack blister packs of Unbroken Bonds. These, uh, you know, it's a relatively, it's a minor older set, but it has the Reshazard or the Hyper Rare Charizard and Reshiram, which got some of the uh, McDonald's. I believe these are the 25th anniversary ones, but I don't know if the, oh yeah, there's the pack in there. I'm not gonna open it up, but yeah. So this is the 25th anniversary McDonald's pack. Uh, it looks like you have like the different type of- There's four of them. Like, there. yeah, They're like different. the different versions of it is really cool. We got some, we got some loose packs here. I don't know if, Oh, yeah. So look at that. What XY Phantom Forces. Okay. That's a great set. It's not obviously like vintage or anything, mm -hmm. but it's an out of print set. It does have some pretty rare cards that are in the set, okay. which makes it a very fun set to open up. And you don't see it like, yeah, you got several of the Phantom Forces packs right here. Like that's really, really cool. Some Evolving Skies. Uh, I was noticing these, which they're 1999. Uh, yeah, these are definitely cards. Something you don't see every day. Okay, Look at that. The Joker find card find is Ash Ketchum. I love that. But these premium collection Elite Trainer boxes are actually mm -hmm. pretty cool because these are a bit more... They they contain many more packs than the regular Elite Trainer boxes that only have eight packs each. I really kind of want to get to these uh, binders. All like, right, I'll tell you what. Let's bring, let me clear the desk and we will bring all this over here because I'm telling you, these things are... They're full. They're, let's save this one for last. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. This is these. This all of this stuff was in here. In, in the all store. right. So look at that. We got Pokemon cards, Pokey more cards. Yeah. So we got some more base set two cards on the inside. There's the original base set card right there. There's some jungle. So very cool. This is more of like what you would call. Hey, there, there we got a first edition jungle card. That's very cool. But yeah, a lot of this is more like vintage bulk. See if there's anything 
crazy in here. So it looks like right off the bat, it's more modern cards than the older ones, but it looks like, yeah, most of these, maybe there's some vivid voltage right here. So really cool. Hey, it's me, the Leon card. <laughs> Look what we got here. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, we got some older vintage cards here. Those are in better shape than that other book. Oh yeah? Let me check with like this Articuno right here. Yeah, the centering is really nice on it. Very, very cool. What else do we got? You know, it's good. Sometimes in these like older collection, there's a first edition jungle card that's really nice. You gotta watch out for mm -hmm. the, uh, sometimes there's like fake cards thrown in there that like I, you see like kids even these days are getting, it's unfortunate, but uh, and so a, far. There's a trick of tearing them. I've heard, uh, what is That's the last resort of tearing <laughs> okay. them. Uh, definitely don't do that. But usually you can just see the coloration of the card, especially the back. Okay. Compare it to a, what is a real card. And you okay. can notice a uh, very nice Jolteon, non-holographic from Jungle. It's very cool. Electabuzz base set. Got some Gym Heroes, it's cool to see. Gym Challenge, especially Giovanni's, Pinzer. Very cool Brock Trainer card from Gym Heroes. Even have a Neo Revelation Magnemite. That's a non-holographic rare, which is really cool to see, but nothing too, too pricey. Neo Revelation Aerodactyl, excuse me, this was Neo Discovery and that's Neo Revelation. Can you, do you wanna do a box? Or what's in here? What? Like, is this like- Oh, bro. No, these are, these are all Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more things in here. Oh, this one's packed. This, this is jam-packed and it's oh, got- Oh, whoa! Wait, what is all if this? If you're excited about this box, I can't wait till you look at the 100. Wait, look at this. Ash's Talking Pokédex. Yeah, look, there's one in here. I think, doesn't this go with it? Oh, does it? And you would put these in there or something to play the game. Oh, but I'm like, looking through this, you got sealed packs in here. Let's see where these are from. I'm just so- Oh yeah, Top Series 2 packs. Oh, it looks like they're open. Yeah, it looks like he probably, and I imagine that he took those out. They probably them. just tuck them and like, took them and like, open them up and stuff. Why you put them back in there? Like, those would be so difficult. I mean, I don't, I know those stick together, but I'm wondering if he went through those. I'm sure they did if they they're did, open, like, yeah. they use the scissors to cut them like that. But no, like, even like looking in here, he got some random bulk, which is cool to see. It's more bulk, but these are in top loaders. Uh, are these pogs? No, these are just uh, buttons or little coins that you can. You like pogs? I used to play, yeah. But no, these are really cool. These are older ones. Not all of them are the coins, but they're just little collectibles that you can't, but these are the coins right here. Like, yeah, this is an older one. You'll notice they're older because these are smaller than mm -hmm. the newer ones that come in some of the modern boxes, okay. but like, especially like this chancy one. So, and there's people out there that definitely collect these coins. This is really cool, a Lugia coin. Oh yeah. Very, very cool. So, I mean, I'm really interested. What's this one? What is this card right here? Oh, it's just an EV VMAX, <laughs> so that's a newer one. But no, like going through these, this is all more bulk. That's oh, Those are the 99 ones, I looked at the years on some of them. That's yeah. the ones I really only know, are the 99 ones. Yeah, but just kind of going through it really fast, seeing if there's anything uh, to, you've got some trainers for Gym Heroes. Definitely want to look out for another Misty's uh, Tears card. Okay. What is that, is that a holographic one? That's the one, the one, the band card that okay. I showed that was in over there. And wow, just look at these. What's going on with that one right here? It's like a little Charmander that has, yeah, that's kind of cool. What is I it? I don't know. It's like some mark on the card. I don't know if that was just random or if that's like a print error or something, which could be very cool. Mm -hmm. But going through these, lots of Pikachus. People like the mirrors. Got they? Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. If there's Red Cheeks Pikachu. That would be something to look out for. Basically, if the- It's that same card, but red cheeks. With red okay. cheeks is something to look out for. We got some energy blocks, so nothing too crazy there. We got more of a, uh, oh, Digimon. That's interesting. So we got some Digimon stuff. And these are just tons of Topps cards, which, uh, you know, people do collect the Topps cards, but there are some great ones. Like, yeah, like you want to go through these for sure okay. and find out if there's any sparkly ones, basically any hollow foily ones you would want to go through because uh, those are pretty collectible ones too. And they look like they're in relatively good condition. So pretty cool to see those. And then it looks like right over here, these may just be bulk trainer cards from the older sets, okay. which is really cool to see. It looks like they're all in English, but yeah, got some energies. Which are relatively nothing crazy for the energies. You got me walking around saying energy. Yeah, I got. Yeah, that's 
So we got Devastation deck from Team Rocket. These usually came with, eh, doesn't have the cards anymore, but just has the uh, theme deck. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, these are just from the mini tins. Oh, we have these. You remember these? Those are really cool, but they're not like too, too crazy. Uh, we have this, looks like a playing mat, probably. Definitely want to check it out. One. Wow. Look at that. What year is it? Uh, it's definitely has Wizards of the Coast on it. So it's definitely just one that they used at the, like a local game store. So what do we got here? It's like a random Magikarp card. Oh, Pokemon Stadium card. That's really cool to see. Interesting. And then, then we got some like Prism Stars from newer sets. Are these all? Oh, and we got some Shining Fates cards. So we got some Shining Fates. You want to turn it around. Oh, whoa. And then, but they're still in it's, really it's badly conditioned, but it's still, it's, yeah, it's a mix of like new cards and old cards. Uh, and then, I'm going to turn it towards you. Oh, yeah, that would probably be good. Oh, no way. Look at that. We got prime cards. An Ursaring prime card from the set Heart Gold Soul Silver, I believe. It's, it's a whole bunch of them, it looks like. Donphan, Typhlosion, hopefully there's an Umbreon. We got a Steelix, Slowking, and then we have a Mega Gyarados EX, which does look, no, I guess that's real, the front. Sometimes these ones are like darker than other ones. Interesting, Sandy, Machoke, wow, that's crazy. I mean, I can sit here, like, look at this. We got a Holofoil Pidgeot from 2004, Noctowl, also from 2010, but it has a nice swirl on it, man. Look, and then you have, like, a random uh, Naganadel, which I believe is Hidden Fates. Well, so all I did when I went in there, all yeah. the cards that were just everywhere, I literally just stacked them up and put them in here. So this is mixed. This is all yeah, the cards Yeah, this is incredible. We got an Arcanine from 2009, Osiris's Arcanine. I like how it has, the like, a little price on these. Oh, man. I, like, you want to, like, stop and just go through these... Like one at a time, because you still have like that. You got some evolutions hollows. So if there's a nice Charizard in there, that'd be very cool. That's a, is that that Ninetales first edition? That's a pretty good card. Uh, no, that's just the evolution set. But this. But the first edition one's good, right? Yeah. Okay. I have that. This is a secret rare from one of the uh, I think it's Diamond and Pearl sets. It's a reprint of the base set Hitmonchan, but it's uh, one of the secret rares from this set. It's one twenty nine out of one thirty or. Yeah, 129 out of 127. That's fantastic. I kind of just like want to go through these because these are like, like you got some new ones. Yeah, you got some character cards, but all of a sudden you got like a dark primate from Team Rocket. So a Meganium, that is from a semi-older set, which is really cool to see. Got some breakdance cards. Venusaur EX from Evolutions. I have no idea why they had those marked. Yeah, that's what I was like wondering. You're like, ooh, you're like, if it, is it something really special? And then you got some more bulk. There's some first editions in this bulk, which I, is really I, nice. I think these are all first editions. Oh yeah, they are all first edition. Wow, that's great. And then I'm assuming this is just more. These were just mixed. These were in different piles. On ah, the got piles. it. Okay, but yeah, this is a pretty special pile, so it's good that they have that. Oh man, man, what do we got here? Expedition cards. It's just a common, but it's really cool to see that bulk. There's a fossil dragonite card, non holographic. Ultra rares. Then you got some Japanese bulk as well, too. My yeah, gosh. One of these. Some more tops cards. There's a non-holographic Jolteon, which is really cool to see. Dark Gyarados. We got a lovely Natu. How do you do? I love that. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, so we got Charizard Spirit Link, Plasma cards. Japanese versus cards, I believe I saw. Some more tops cards. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's like... There's a... Holy, uh, Prism foil Raichu card. Very cool. That's from Heart Gold Soul Silver set, I believe, or around 2010 time. So, trying to go through this at a, like, a relatively faster <laughs> pace. But it's just really cool to see all of these cards like that. I don't want to... And I think I saw that one already. And then this is just more... Looks like some more bulk. So, this binder right here. Let's see it. Got some very nice, more modern cards. There's a pre-release Forbidden Light card. And then you got some more Japanese bulk. 
You got an unknown card from 2005. That's really cool to see. Yeah, like look at these. You got Holland Phantom Seedra, but these are the reverse holographics. So they're from EX Crystal Guardians. Great set. And just continuing to look through some of it. It's so interesting because it's like, it's like you got modern cards and then you got older cards. Love gold. So very nice golden cards. There's the uh, there Rainbow is. Rare Leon. <laughs> I just uh, haven't been able to pull that one, but it's nice to see so it what, actually what, does uh, exist. What? This is really cool. Neo Genesis Holographic Metal Energy. So that's a very cool card to see. What do we got? My favorite Squirtle card of all time right there. I love it. The Team Rocket Squirtle. Got a Shadow Rider Calyrex alternate art. It's a newer set, but it's still a very nice card. And then what do we got here? It's like promos. Pikachu. Is there some first? What else? Oh, so... I see they like Mew and Mewtwo on these pages right here. Black Star promo Mew. It's very cool to see. What about? The, I noticed these were. I think that was. Is, oh, that is from ninety nine. Yeah, that one's. It looks like an original base set Mewtwo. And that one too, I think. Uh, that one as well too. Are those were? Is that a card worth grading? Probably not. not a first, okay, if it was a first, first edition, edition, now okay, we're gotcha. talking, but. Um, we got some of the Charmander Toys R Us promo cards. Those I are pretty special. Those, yeah. yeah, I remember when those came out. That was pretty special. And obviously, Toys R Us is not around in the U.S. anymore. Mega Charizard EX. Very, very nice card. Love to see that one. So that was a little Charizard page right there. We got some tag team cards. No birds. No birds at all. Don't like that card. So let's <laughs> move on. The Blastoise page. Let's see. What else do we got? Ente, Meryl, Shadow Lugia. Shining Lugia is very nice. They're all promo cards. Yep, these are all the promo cards from Toys R Us, and these are the older ones of Black Star promos of Cool Porygon. Level X. That looks like that's the old original one, which is really cool. What else do we got here? So we got some of the Eevees. These are really cool Black Star promo ones to see. Some more evolutions, and then looks like we got some vintage holographics here. Really cool. There's some first editions in there too. I think I think I saw some. I'm trying to see if there's sometimes there's air cards or no symbol jungle cards where the hmm. symbol for the jungle's not there, but it's a hollow foil really? to look out for. Yeah, these are all just uh, unlimited ones right now. Really cool. Okay. Um, then he got some nice holos on this side too. And then this is a first edition Nine Tails, but it looks like it's in a different language, maybe German. Really? Yeah, a Volnona first edition oh, Nine Tails. It. Yeah. Is that Kangas a card worth grading? Uh, I'm not really sure. I want to send in a couple to get graded, maybe just because I've never really done it. Yeah, I mean, it's in really good condition. Yeah, it's a card in really good condition. So I like it. That's potentially, I would just see like comps on it. And then we have the very last page. There you go. There's a, some first editions on the very last page. The first edition, Mr. Mime Jungle. One of my favorite trainers, Blaine. My favorite trainer growing up was Sabrina. And that's a first edition one. Let's uh, gently try to take this one out and see how that one looks. It's a little off center, but overall it's still in great condition for a card that's probably been sitting in the binder for a while. So that's a really nice card. And then you have a Misty Trainer as well too. Not a uh, non-first edition and then first edition. That's great. Hey, so this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for inviting me here to, to check out your collection that you got from the storage unit. It's always so interesting to see that. And uh, for anyone out there, if you wanna go check out the full video of when he went to the storage unit, there will be a link in the description below. But once again, uh, sir, thank you so much. Dude, thank you. I mean, taking the time out of your day to come over here and like, this would have taken me 18,000 years and you did by 18 No, I was still going <laughs> through it and I was still just like, oh, I can just sit here like really diving in. But no, it was really cool to see just uh, the, oh, some of the older stuff like the Playman and these prime cards and the holographics in this binder. It was a treat, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, here's what I'm thinking in the future. These came out of a storage unit. I find these in storage units all the time. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is, is you might have to come on an adventure with, mm. with me and Gina. I don't know. Would y'all like that? Let, Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments and we'll make it happen, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, stay awesome. Stay positive, everybody. And I'll
I'll see y'all next time.